You are a former Olympian champion who went through some health scares and... In 2006, I got Crohn's disease. So bad, I lost in six weeks, I lost uh, 45 pounds and um, also 80% of my blood. But God saved me and um, now I'm here and now I'm producing the best seed oils. So Why these industrial seed oils that are, that are grinders that you call them? are so bad for us. What are they what are they doing when we consume these these canola, even soybean oils, even flaxseed oils that are not yeah, processed yeah. the right way? What's happening in the body? To make it better, you have to change the mechanical side. The the type how you press, how you really press. Nobody's asking. Everybody just taking the oils and thinking they do something good to to the, their body, but they fill up the, the metal and metal is causing a lot of problems in your body. Hey Keto Camper, I'm excited to bring on the founder of Andreas Seed Oils and former Olympian Andreas Wecker. We're going to talk all things seed oils. Before I bring him on, let me introduce myself. My name is Ben Azadi. I am the founder of Keto Camp, best-selling author of three books, our mission here is to educate and to inspire 1 billion people on planet Earth. I want to thank you, yeah you, for joining me here today. Today's topic is all about seed oils. Seed oils could be healing to the body. They could assist your body in fat burning and nourishing your cells. Or they could actually do the opposite. They could create inflammation, cell membrane inflammation, weight gain, and weight loss resistance. We're going to discuss quality seed oils, when when I say quality, the sourcing and the pressing of the oils versus the ones that are toxic and rancid. Here's a hint. Most of the ones out there in the keto space are toxic and rancid. But Andreas, who's the founder of Andreas Seed Oils, has a proprietary processing uh, that is this German technology, which we'll get into. So we're going to talk about the benefits of flaxseed oil, why these oils are medicine to the body, using black sesame oil to nourish your hair, how to use these oils for your immune system, and so much more. So without further ado, let's get into this episode of the Keto Camp Podcast with Andreas Wecker. Hey, Keto Camp Academy members. I'm excited to have a conversation all about seed oils. You heard me talk about seed oils a lot. And when I mention it, I usually mention how toxic they can be. But there is a very uh, profound way or benefit to taking seed oils. And we're going to talk about the right way to source it, the right way to use them. And I'm going to be interviewing Andreas Wecker, who is the founder of Andreas Seed Oils. This has been part of my daily regimen. Every morning, I'll take a tablespoon. I love this so much. I send a bottle to my mom and it's part of my clients, uh, my one-on-one -on -one clients protocol as well. So without further ado, let me bring on the man of the hour so we can have a discussion on the benefits of the right sourcing of seed oil. So Andreas, welcome to the Keto Camp Podcast. Yeah, nice to be there. Nice to be here with you. We were just talking yeah. off air about the fires over there in Oregon and yeah. the craziness that's going on. So we're praying that that gets taken care of soon and okay. everything gets restored as much as possible. Yeah. You have um, a great company and a great product that we'll get into. Yeah. But you also have an amazing story. You are a former yeah. Olympian champion yeah. who went through some health scares. And share yeah. your story with my audience and just what you went through to what you're doing today. Okay, maybe I start. So I started with six years. I grew up on the east side in Germany. So I was with the Russians. <laughs> so And then um, I started with uh, in the first grade, six years old. I was always the smallest. So they came like talent, you know, looking for talents in school. For certain sport and i was the smallest i was like a monkey and uh, was fast powerful etc so and i got a letter from my parents to get me to um, gymnastics right so i started with six years in my hometown and then with nine years i came to berlin sports school and uh, so my whole thing started without parents at nine yeah so my whole journey wow um, it's hard in the beginning when you're nine years old and you don't have the parents around you. It's not so not so easy. But I'm still alive, so I'm it's okay. So what what the funny oh not the funny part is in the beginning is funny. 
right? There's a lot of things you want to do as, as, and you have the tools, you have the apparatus, so you can play around, right? So, and then in, I needed my first Olympics, I was in, had in Seoul in 80, 1988. We was two teams, East and West. That's a funny thing. And we won silver with the team, so on the East side. Wow. It was the only time in history that the German team won silver with the team um, at the Olympics. Impressive. Gymnastics. Very impressive. Really, really Gymnastics. Cool. Yeah. I, I was lucky to be a part of this. So I was 18 years old and so young with all the craziness, right? So, and then I was in total in four Olympics. So 88, so 92 in Barcelona. Um, I won three medals. So two bronze, two silver. And I uh, know two bronze and one silver. And then um, in Atlanta, I won gold on high bar. I was always like kind of high bar and rings, you know. So in total, I made, and then Sydney, it's 2000, and I ripped my biceps. So oh. yeah, in the shoulder, like three days before, and then they give you a lot of shots. So they think it's, it's bringing it back on, you know. So it's not going to work. But so I had a lot of trouble in, in, in Sydney. So, but I made the uh, full three days training plus the first full competition all around. So I was an all rounder too. And um, so, yeah. Um, a lot i was actually pretty healthy for for a, a gymnast so normally a gymnast has a lot of problems shoulder elbow hand uh, the the joints here from pommel horse and something like this i never had this much um, issues i was uh, perfect size so i'm five five um and i'm not so heavy so like 130 and so and it was pretty ideal you know so but um at the end when i stopped in 2000 uh, in sydney i made another i had the surgery and then i made another four years like shows as a gymnast you can make shows so i had my little p-bar and i was like to germany Euro europe you know so I'd get some shows like Cirque du Soleil. Mm -hmm. yeah so and um in 2004 i stopped made the decision no more and I was focusing on other things. I had a couple ideas. I was uh, uh, reading about a couple of things about how to get the body, the cells, uh, like breathing and get food. Actually, I was reading about that you can eat to your skin. So I'm always thinking in photos. So bread, salami, butter, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then wait, wait until my skin try to eat it, right? So no, I, I got into this a little bit more and figured out. So the skin has about seven micrometer mu uh, to go to go in. So anything what is bigger, it doesn't go in. There's no way. Cremes, for example, they have about 200, 260. So how in the world is a cream working? So for example, if you have like an eczema or you have neurodermitis or psoriasis, uh, you have an issue with all those cremes because they are too big. To, so you cannot heal from the inside, right? So it's only topically, so it's not really working out. So I invented in 2003 a machine. You go in and then you, uh, because I was reading the best the, about the cell structure, uh, double layer of fat, uh, what is the best? It's an oil, right? right. So that, that brought me pretty much into my oil business. But the funny part was, um, I created a system which makes oil or brings oil in gas form. And you sit naked in there, like in a sauna. It's not warm, it's like room temperature. And then you just get, you can smell it, but you cannot see it. If you see it, you you cannot breathe. Mm. Very, very simple. So it's too big. It's everything too, that you can thick. see, exactly. So everything what you can see, it's not going to the skin. Mm. So it's very tricky. But, um, I started with this and in, 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 uh, to find, I thought, okay, if, if it goes in a cell, you want to have the, the best oil, right? So I called all those uh, German big companies who claim to have the best oil in the world, award winning and all this stuff. And then they sent me samples. So I tried this out and it was working, but it was not perfect. Like I, you know, I'm always like, building things since I was very young. 
always engineering. And um, so I was kind of confused. And then I found, uh, not found, but I was connected with an engineer in Germany. And um, he had a very small, like for home, like a press for himself, he created an oil press. So when I was getting sick in 2004, that was a year later, because I had a lot of stress and I couldn't, couldn't deal actually with it, uh, with all this stuff, emotional and all, you know. Yeah, and your body but, went through a lot of physical stress yeah. throughout your gym, gymnast years. And I had 14 years, on, I was on painkiller in my sports career. Wow. So on a daily basis. So, so, so your liver took a big hit there. It's not just the liver, but you have also, when you, when you, when I stopped to taking it in 2004, your body suddenly all those, all those stuff is coming up. And mm. I got in 2006, I got Crohn's disease so bad. I lost in six weeks, I lost uh, 45 pounds. Oh my gosh. And, um, also 80% of my blood. Oh my gosh. So when, I came, when I came in the hospital, I was, and you know what the emergency room, the first thing they do, they take blood. So they took pretty much the rest and I, I, I vanished. So I, I fall complete. So I woke up with two in, in uh, what's it called? Uh, intensive care, uh, both sides uh, drops, <laughs> you know, blood, blood plasma. My God. And I have very rare um, blood type. It's a negative. So it's like only 3% in the world have this blood. So it was kind of, they didn't have it right away, you know? So I was pretty much knocked out for probably an hour or so. So on the way to die, uh, but God saved me. And um, now I'm here and now I'm producing the best seed oil. So what my way was in 2006, no, 2007, the plan was to bring this bo this booth, this what I had as the first um, idea here on the market, but I had so many or a couple what was it called uh, partners uh, stealing, lying, whatever it is. Okay, so and I just decided not to do it, but I still was sick, kind of. You know, it's not if you have Crohn's disease this this uh, far then you're dealing with a lot of problems. And they put me in the hospital. I was seven years, uh, seven, seven weeks in there. And five weeks of this, I was on 200 milligrams prednisone every single day. 200 milligrams. This is insane. This is, that is that, that's, that's insane, man. This is, so I was knocked out in the morning. They came in a very early, like five o'clock in the morning. I had those butterflies, both, both arms. And they just put everything in what they need. And I was for three hours, complete knocked out. I was not knowing where I am. It's absolutely crazy, believe me. So I figured out after seven weeks, uh, sorry, they cannot help me. So they was twice this way, twice this way. And I said, guys, I'm not your guinea pig and I'm on too many meds. I have all the side effects. I have to do something else. So I released myself. I had to sign paper. And then I called my friend and uh, he said, why you don't call me? Uh, I can press fresh uh, flex seed for you. And you just take it and get rid of all the medications. And that's what I started. So I took flex seed every day. And after three months, slowly, you cannot stop right away. So you have to get slowly out with everything. And the worst was the, of course, the uh, prednisone, right? I had moon phase, so really like swollen, insane. And um, so that was my, my journey or my starting point at, uh, with the oils. And I got this little press with me when I came here in the United States in 2007 and started to press just by myself, just for myself, because I still was on the way to bring the booth in, 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 on the market. But like I said, partners, and so now I'm alone, no more partners, okay? So in, I started and the business started in really to become a business in 2008. So I'm pretty much, I can say since over in May, 2008, I started my business. Oh, so 12 yeah. years ago is when you started your business and you've yeah. been, you've been pressing a lot of oils ever since. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And I have a lot of celebrities on the oils because my oils are really special. It's no oxidation. There's no, no grinding. 
Grinding is the main issue in all those other presses, what you talked in the beginning. Uh, every single oil I tried, I don't want to touch anymore. Mm -hmm. So if somebody tells me, oh, that's the best, I said, send me your seeds and I press with my technology, what I created, and then we will see. So if they get it back, no more answer because I know what's happening, right? So there's a lot of companies right now, they, they want to find out what I'm doing. Um, I have four patent pendings on it since almost three years now. So we are closing in. Um, the good thing is I thought to make the change on the, on the liquid side, to make it better, you have to change the mechanical side, the, the type, how you press, how it really press. So I can call actually those cold presses, expeller presses today. I can actually call all the other ones, not, not presses, but grinders. So just, just a tip or just a short uh, uh, imagination. So if, if you have to change the expeller all three months because it's eaten up, uh, then you have a big problem, right? Because the question I, I got right away in my mind was, okay, where's all the metal going? Right, yeah. Nobody's asking. Everybody just taking the oils and thinking they do something good to, to the, their body, but they fill up the, the metal, and metal is causing a lot of problems in your body, you know? And there was one of the cases where I was... Um, saying, oh, no, 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 we don't want grind. We want press. We, we just want press. So I uh, developed in 2009. I developed with a German mechanic, not with an engineer. You know what the difference is between engineer and uh, mechanic? What is the difference? The engineer want money up front. <laughs> <laughs> you just offended the engineers out there. <laughs> so you have to be careful. If you talk to an engineer, you always want money up front and you never got what you're asking for. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's so here's he picked my, my brain. I had a very clear vision of this of this new press. And um, like I said, now I have four patents on it or myself because I I invented after this whole thing, uh, four years ago I invented a new one, which is like the next step. So and I'm in the process to take some money and do the next step. So there's always like kind of, my brain is never stopping, you know. So I'm always thinking, bring the best. I'm not interested into making quick money. I want a good product first and the money comes alone and it's paying for and people are very happy with my oils. There's like I said, there's no oxidation. I can prove this with laboratory tests. So it's very, very cool. We want to make also because just to get a couple of questions already up front answered. Uh, all my oils have pretty much um, what we want to do. We want to send it out to a laboratory uh, and make those uh, typical tests for everything, like also the fatty acid ratio, so that we have the clear numbers in a, in a you know, C of A's uh, also on the website. We are also in a, in a process right now to getting certified organic. We worked uh, till last year, and then I moved out uh, because uh, my, my new partners was the same way, you know. So I just step away, and we have a brand new facility. It's amazing. I want to make also my own kind of podcast uh, to to show a little bit what we're doing. Love it. Yeah, do it. Very clean, very clean setup. It's in, extremely clean, and that's I'm typical German. So I tell also my workers, if you make a mess, you clean it. If I make that, I clean it. No, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm a. I understand that, yeah. yeah so, so, so before we get into more of of, yeah. of the your oils, which yeah. I personally use and have been using for over a year now, before we get into the different types of oils you have, I really want to just paint the picture for yeah. the keto campers listening and watching yeah. on why these industrial seed oils that are yeah. that are grinders yeah. that you call them. Are so bad for us. What are they? What are they doing when we consume these these canola, even soybean oils, even flaxseed oils that are not yeah. processed the right way? What's happening in the body? The thing is, the, to the grinding, you have friction. You know, even if they get it maybe cold out, but the problem is inside the friction pushes the oxygen, so you have instantly oxidation by friction. So what I'm doing, I bring just to the front and squeeze it out. 
mm. with about 10 tons is empty. So I have still the shells, but they are empty. So if you take a normal press, you see everything like grind it up and, and there's, there's no, no shells, anything. You don't see anything uh, clearly. Uh, the problem with this is you have the oxidation from the beginning. Then they put it in the wrong bottles. Some of them even in plastic bottles and they say BPA free, whatever. I don't give anything. I'm using always yeah, uh, glass. Neuron, glass, neuron glass. I was the first one in 2008, by the way, who put the thing so I get a lot um, fingers on the head uh, that I'm stupid to using those expensive glasses. But I don't have to refrigerate because if you have a good product, I was looking for also to keep it this way. And that's the only bottle which has a frequency on, which is a patent. It's a patented uh, glass. And um, there's a frequency on which keeps every organic, everything what you put in as an organically, uh, what is it called? Not organically, like like uh, uh, food in there. It keeps it stable for years. So you don't, oh, interesting. So you don't have to refrigerate. That's the main issue. Why they put it, I was always, why they put it in a fridge? If you know, I know a lot about structured things, uh, molecular structure of liquids mm -hmm. and uh, memories, etc. I mean, you you know Dr. Emoto, probably the water. Dr. Guy. Who? Emoto. No, I don't. Okay, so water guy, but his teacher was my teacher, so it's very funny, and he teached me about my oils, and he said very clear: if you put it in a fridge and you take from the fridge. Um, the molecule structure, the, the clusters are too big, so the body is not realizing, it's not reading as, as the perfect structure for the cells. So the most of the oils is anyway get dumped in your body and it goes through your body and you don't have anything of it. So the second thing is the bioavailability. So for example, if you, if you put an oil through a filter press with 20 tons, you get the total destroyed molecular, destroyed oil and liquid, which is no more the body cannot read. So everything what you put, what you buy in the market, it's total destroyed, total destroyed. I don't, what I have, I have a strainer, a stainless steel strainer, that's all. So I have a little bit mud, that's a normal thing, but it shows um, there's no grinding. So the thing is, everybody else has to, because of the grinding, you have a lot of mud, a lot of little pieces. You have to get rid of this, so they filter. They filter. But as soon as you put pressure on, on liquid, you push the cluster together, and then they go to a very tiny little hole. You know the filter, right? Then the whole pressure goes smaller and smaller and more, and then boom, explosion when it comes out, right? So the whole molecule. That's just to give you an example or a picture. Get destroyed. So the body. When you when you take this, the body cannot read it mm. only partially, so you get very little bioavailability with those oils, and most of them is anyway they are refined. They are kind of salad oils, the worst. It's oh like, my gosh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's if you take this, you destroy yourself. You will die from those oils. You can kill yourself because if you think a cell has a double layer of fat, mm -hmm. so this double layer of fat has to be built to get a breathing. So get oxygen in, get the whole process in, out, right? Hormones, um, nutrients, yep. The whole nine yards. I mean, the body is it's a, it's a computer. It communicates with the liquid what comes in. We have theoretically over 90% water or liquids in our body. And only liquid is, so theoretically, we only need liquid form to get you know, to stay healthy, to, to feed, feed our body. So our body, when we eat, has to break it down, right? Mm -hmm. So how much, so when your colon system, your stomach, you have stress, you have all this stuff, then I was not able for, for two or three years to digest, right? So I had a lot of deficiencies, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and deficiency causes the next problem, you know? So you're coming from one to another and then, Every time when you run to a doctor, they find something else. They go by the protocols. The protocols are made by insurances, the insurance working with the pharmacy. So it's like a, it's like you, 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 you're going in circles, but you don't have anything of it. 
So that's a big, big problem. So in my case, I thought about it because I was going through all those steps. So I saw the official thing and I- Yeah, had, you went through it yourself. Yeah, so that's, I mean, I would not sell this, uh, you know, if I'm not taking it myself, for example. There's a lot of people, I, I, I mean, you know, diet pills and all this stuff. And yeah. I met one time in Germany, I was on a, on a, uh, was a convention and it was a big guy, right? And he was selling uh, diet pills. I said, maybe you try first, right? <laughs> so it's just, it's just how I think. So my, my brain is functioning in a different way many times and a lot of things doesn't make sense. So if, for example, we give, the first time we go to a doctor, we start to trust the doctor, right? That means we give our responsibility for our body, we give to somebody else. And we say, okay, I trust you, do whatever you want. So they, they have to find something, otherwise they don't get money, right? Yep. So if they heal you in, in a week or two, you pay, right? And then you're gone. So, and I, I discuss a lot, but the funny part is I have a lot of good doctors now they, because their brain changed too. So if they come to the point where they see that the uh, pharmaceutical way is not working anymore, then they have to think something else. And I got to, to those doctors because their patient got healed to my oils. That's the funny part. So awesome. oil can heal theoretically because all the cells are double layer of fat. If you rebuild them the right way, it needs a little bit of time sometimes, but it can help inflammation, uh, stress, uh, anxiety, whatever you're dealing with in your, in your life. Each person is different, of course, and each person um, ends up, but all persons ends up like with a couple of oils. So it's not just like one, right? And, um, but the five seat you, you showed already. It's, yeah, it's that's, like, uh, that's my favorite one. And, yeah. you know, when you open these oils yeah. up, like it's just, you can tell that it's so fresh. It's just yeah. so, you, yeah. you smell it. It's, it smells so good and, and alive. And uh, yeah. this is part of my protocol. Every morning I'll take a tablespoon of this. Uh, all of my one-on-one -on -one clients, this is part of their protocol as well. Because like you said, Andreas, it's feeding the cell yeah. membrane, this lipid bilayer the building blocks that it needs so your body could orchestrate this amazing process. And that's what you have in your bottle here. Absolutely. And the good thing is when, when a cell can breathe, right? So, and, and I saw you talking about sugar gravings, et cetera, which is a sign of, of, of uh, fungus or candida. In your yep, body, right. Which is the main cause also of all the other disease, pretty much all diseases we have. So many people want to ignore this and they say, oh, no, doctor, so-and-so. The problem is there's no solution. You don't have a solution. My oils can help you to re... So autoimmune disease, there's no such thing. The body is reacting because you give him the wrong stuff and he doesn't want to deal with it. So you create antibodies and then it says, oh, your body is attacking you. Yeah, because you get... my body is inflamed right? So my body, is, my immune system is trying to get off this. So it's overwhelming, right? And it's just producing, it's producing, it's producing. Mm -hmm. And that's the main, that's the main issue. So you have to start somewhere. Yeah. So, and vitamin C is one thing. Uh, you have uh, some fatty, uh, what's it called? Amino acids like glutamine uh, and also uh, N NAC. I'm using this, uh, and then mainly the fat, because the fat is also like a transportation system in your body. It goes everywhere. I mean, fat is everywhere in your body, right? Yeah. So a keto diet is based on fat, yeah. right? For getting energy. So as soon as you have the sugar graving, the problem is that those cells, they cannot breathe anymore. So, and in order to functioning, or give you energy, they have to change their production of energy from oxygen to sugar and that's why you're graving for sugar so it's the, the logic is to to stop in general sugar start with the oils and get more fat in your body as to 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 change the what's it called the uh, energy from 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 taking from sugar you have those up and downs yep. with sugar right 
And with with fat, you don't have this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a straight line. You have much energy, much longer. Uh, you you you're more clear in your brain. I mean, candida can go in your brain. It can can actually uh, tell you exactly what to do every day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they control us. They feed off of heavy metals too. Exactly. So so the five seed blend has yeah. what what are the five? It has organic yeah. sunflower seed oil, pumpkin black seed. seed oil, black seed black sesame seed. Uh, flax seed and coriander yeah, seed. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I know you have different versions. So what are some other ones that you have developed? And if somebody starts taking, let's say, one to two tablespoons of this per day, and they're pretty consistent, yeah. what are some things they will notice that are, are happening inside their body? Very simple. Energy, because that's highly energized. If you press an oil right, and the seed, the energy is in the seed. The Bible says in uh, Genesis 1, uh, 29, I give you all the seeds and all fruit bearing seeds, yeah, fruit, fruit bearing seeds uh, for your food. So the energy or the information for your DNA is actually in seeds. It's in mm. fat, it's in, it's, that's what we are. So we cannot just uh, take all the dirt and put all the stuff in, take some oil and think, oh, I'm, I'm, it's like an alibi, you know, many people. So when you start with the oils also, you have to be clean on your food, right? So, and what I did is I started my own, I became a chef, yeah? So, and uh, German chef, <laughs> the German kitchen is very nice. Uh, not all the time, but um, I like to cook. So, and... I see the oils also like a little bit as a chef, so I can create things. Like the five seed was created by people asking me, I have to buy all those five seeds all the time as a full bottle. Can you not put it in, in one bottle, right? Makes sense. Yep. So what I did, I was not mixing. I'm not mixing. So I'm not pressing separately and then mix it. I'm putting the seeds and mix the seeds. Mm. And then I press Smart. it. Smart, smart. So you have the better molecular structure as a full. So for example, if you take all the separate oils, they have a total different um, effect on your body as when you take the five seed. The five seed gives you a lot of energy. That's what you feel probably. Yeah, that's why I take it in the morning. Exactly. So the good thing is on this, some people, they cannot take it in the evening because they cannot sleep because it gets so much energy, right? So it calms you down too because it has anti-inflammation, anti-inflammatory information in, 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 the, in the fat. So then a third thing, what I heard a lot from people who are on oxygen, uh, they say they got rid of the oxygen in two weeks. They don't need it, wow. Anymore. Wow. They don't need it anymore because the cell starts to breathe. Huh. You know, when the cell's coming back in, in order, right now the oxygen, what you breathe in can be used. Yeah, interesting. Only oxygen because your lungs are not able to, they have built the wrong way. So your lungs starting to deplete and then and, and getting less and less oxygen in your blood and you feel it in your, in your whole body. Yeah. So, and this is what I want to see. I want to see all those, those um, nice things happen to people, you know? So, and then I started also, I have a, I don't know if you ever saw about this, but I have an organic heirloom fennel. Yeah, I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, this is, if you like licorice, like licorice. Yeah, I do, yeah. You, you go like, not the <laughs> you go like this. This is amazing for respiratory. It's amazing for, huh. um, it has vitamin C in it. So vitamin C is normally an, an water soluble vitamin. So, but this is, I have two oils, which has um, vitamin C in, it's the coriander. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and, see it. Uh, and uh, so, and I mean, any herb, you can, I can press mushrooms, I can press anything. So there's a lot of things in the future I want to do. Exciting. But what I want to show you also is uh, we have the only one I press it for another company. Um, I don't know if you know about Dr. Pompa. Or ever heard about I work it? with Dr. Pompa. Yeah, he's my mentor. Yeah. yeah. Then we're talking about the Kava. Oh, yeah. I just interviewed uh, Cameron, Cameron last week. Yeah. Cameron, yeah. Kava yeah, Cam, I'm, yeah. I'm I, I, I take that in the morning I'm as well it. in my yeah. coffee. Yeah. Look at that. I'm producing it. I know that you do. Yeah, because so, you're using your technology. This is insane. This is yeah. insane. Believe me. This it's is great. great. 
Yeah. And yeah. Now, so by the by the way, keto campers, that episode will probably be out by the time this is out. So go listen to the interview or watch it with uh, Cameron George about kava, the history of kava, true kava, and and uh, Andreas is the one his company processes it because this patented technology is so good yeah. that Dr. Pompa and, and Cameron reached out yeah. to him and they uh, are working together now on that product. Exactly. Exactly. And it's really fun because it has almost the same like CBD. Right. Effect anxiety and, and it's, but it's, re, it has a repairing, um, it's triggering things, you know, fat. If you bring the right fat in your body, the right information, you trigger the self healing. So it's not that you change anything. It's just to give the right information to your body. So the body can work the right way and gets the right information. If you put for a long time, the wrong information in your body, the body is switching. I mean, if you're young, your body is clean. But over time, it's not like if you're six years old and you eat the chocolate or whatever, it will not destroy you, right? But if you do this for a long, long time and you get, mm. you know, and uh, that's the problem. So the cell is stucking all this brown fat. And so you want to get rid of this. So, and the newcomer, uh, actually, we have it since um, two and a half years, but like partnership and then uh, I, I predicted also the whole thing uh, breaks down is the only cold pressed organic cold pressed CBD on the market. Very cool. That's some this great is, label too. This is our new so, product. So press. full spectrum hemp ec ec extract, C cold yeah. processed CBD is what that is. Yeah. Also mirror glass. Uh, the funny part is the difference between CBD on the market is always like they have solvents. They're dealing with a lot of problems, alcohol, solvents, uh, hexan. They have butane. They, they're using uh, for CO2 extraction, high pressure. It's a lot of issues. So, and then the problem is their, their stuff is all activated because of the heat. Hmm. Where you smoke marijuana, you know. Our stuff is mainly CBDA and has a little bit THCA. But we don't touch the temperature where you get the um, psychoactive uh, delta nine from the THC activated. So most CBD you can feel also the THC, so it brings you a little bit. You know, people dealing with this problem that they take the one to one ratio, CBD and, and marijuana, and 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 uh, because of the pain. But the main thing is the CBD is not the THC. Okay. So, but people want to work, they, they're working, you know, so they want to do something, but when they take it, they cannot do anything because they're complete gone. We don't have this issue. So it gets activated in your body as soon as you take it. Mm -hmm. So that means all the other CBD oils on the market, they are maybe maximal, I give maximal three months, and then they have no more active CBD in there because they activate it. How long it stays in a normal bottle and, and not even in a mirror glass bottle. You know what I mean? So that's three yeah. months from the actual, um, oh, when it goes in the bottle. So how long does it take to get to somebody's house? Could be, it could be gone before yeah, they're yeah, gone. in somebody's house. Okay. And there was this one, exactly. And there was this one doctor and he proved it. So he was, took like over a thousand different companies. He made the third laboratory tests and all this stuff. And over 90% after testing, they had nothing in there anymore. <laughs> So after a certain time, they don't have it in anymore because the activation gets down, slowing down. I can give two years minimum. Wow. That's if you impressive. Measure this, that's a 500 milligram right now. We have 500, 1,000, and 1,500. The 1,500 is, is the knockout. It's the sleeping pill. Mm -hmm. I call it the sleeping pill because it knocks you out, seriously. And the 500 is a starter. It gives, it gives, um, it wakes you up. It gives you focus and, and you feel, you just feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and we have tons of people. We have so much reviews, uh, top reviews. It's the first one ever worked. Um, so it works all the time because we don't dealing with solvents. When you have solvents in there, the problem is we have those um, CBD receptors in our body. Right. And they're blocking. They're making cl the closing when you get not CBD anymore or something else with the CBD. And we don't do this. We have a clean oil. We have we don't have to mix it afterwards in oil. We press it with seeds. We have the green. We grind it down and we press it with seeds. I invented this um, recipe 
and it's insane absolutely insane yeah so, I, I could tell you put a lot of love and thought yeah, into the yeah, to your yeah. products that's why that's why i'm a fan yeah, i want to get to <laughs> i want to get to a question here from yeah. uh tara tara's in the keto camp academy who's watching live right now and i'll put her yeah. comment down below is there any balance you should have between taking seed oils like the ones you have the, the real ones versus other keto oils uh, uh keto oils like avocado oil or coconut oil uh, I don't want to make anything bad, but if you look at the avocado, actually, it doesn't have this much uh, really effect uh, to your body. And also coconut. Uh, coconut oil, if it's pressed the right way, yes. Uh, but there's nothing out there. There's one, uh, it's an activated, um, like an, they say it's energized or whatever. They call it with nanotechnology. You don't need all this stuff if you press it the right way from the beginning. Mm. So when you when you want to play God, do this with somebody else. So <laughs> my goal is also future-wise, just let you know, I want to press also uh, coconut oil. Uh, but I had it one time. So not only coconut oil gets very strong, very hard when it gets cold. My one stays, you still can go with your finger and so the molecular structure is better, it's different. So if you put my oils on your skin, you can do this with, with ah, water. Yeah. It, I don't use any creams, I just put oils. So when you put this just on, on, your, on your skin, it goes in, 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 in minutes, it's gone. There's no fatty. And this is also a sign, like I said before, you wanna have it in. So if you have like, like um, skin issues, um, and it's not going in it's blocking actually from breathing you know what i mean you could so, apply these oils and it can help with that oh, it's okay. interesting yeah. it stays too fatty mm -hmm. and um yeah i mean i can i would say very clear so there's a lot of people also or women have this problem mainly when they take um oils from plastic bottles. For example, there's a couple of companies that put uh, coconut oil in plastic container. Right. Yeah. And um, that's bad because plastic has estrogen. Right. So we're dealing with estrogen higher levels. And I get calls from, I said, did you add any other oils to your diet? Because they took it for years and then suddenly they had problems with the estrogen levels. Did, and then my question is first, if you add any other oil, oh yeah, coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Is that what company? So and so. Is it in a plastic container? Yeah, yeah. I said, okay, get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, good There's call. Your problem. There's your problem. Many people going to the doctor, get the pill and then trying to get, you know, you give the cause all the time, you put it in your body and then you try with the pill to, to block the symptoms. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. Exactly. So what you want is, you want to get rid of the uh, of the of the cause, so and that's what I'm doing with my oils. I'm getting so, rid of the cause, so it's not bad. I don't want to say anything bad about it, but I would I would rather try first uh, without, and then maybe adding. And if there's a change in a, in a, maybe then that's maybe the best way. So it's a process of learning to deal with those fats, the right fat in the right way. Can you cook with your oils? Yes, I have the best cooking oil in the world. This one. The, is that sunflower one? Sunflower. I can't. Oh, sunflower and black sesame. Huh. You know what's interesting is that I've never okay. cooked with your oils. Now I'm I'm going oh, to. Yeah. You have I to didn't even it. I didn't realize that we we could cook with them. So now I'm going oh, to. It's insane, absolute insane. You cooler you press, you higher you can get with the temperature. Oh, yeah, that you makes sense. It's not destroyed. You have the cleanest food. You will not. It's not burning. Yeah. You can put it on any food, salads. You can mix it. Pumpkin, pumpkin seed oil. Awesome. That's it's good to know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook with it. Yeah. I have the pumpkin one too. Yeah. So, so Tara, to answer your question, um, yeah, there could be a balance. You know, I, I'm still yeah. for healthy avocado oil done the right way, coconut oil. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and uh, what Andreas is saying, maybe you should try the Andreas seed oils and see how you feel. And then figure out what balance you want to achieve. Exactly. But th th there could be a balance, and it's unique to you and, and your. That's like situation. I said, try, yeah. try first just my oils, and then adding one. And if this is, you can feel the difference immediately yeah. in your body. 
So it's how it, it's made. So most of the oils we we getting, it has no energy. Is that right? Exactly, and it's taking so it's energy from us just to consume it. Exactly. So uh, sucking is it's like sucking. So avocado. I mean, we talk about it. Uh, one of my best friends is a good good friend of mine is uh, David Avocado Wolf. So yeah, yeah, Mr. Avocado himself. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, Tara, congratulations. She just finished up a five day fast too. So good job okay. to her. <laughs> uh, another question here from Kira in the yeah. Academy. She says, is your product certified organic? So you touched upon that. So go ahead and answer. So we are in the process right now. Uh, I get the inspector. I was before I never changed anything. I have the best organic product. Um, on the market is just was not certified and people understand is the product. What is certified? No, it's the facility. So uh, the difference, uh, so you can actually make any product in a certified organic facility, and then you have the right to put an organic stamp on. I know a couple of people from the past, they rent just the kitchen for this purpose, and then producing at home with uh, in the garage. <laughs> and they could get away with that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. wow. That's I terrible. don't know how many how many people doing this. I'm not That's terrible. Wow. So we are not allowed right now until we get certified. So certification is, it's organic. There's no change. I'm, I never put any conventional seed in my process. It's not allowed. Okay. So I'm just looking always 100% organic. I'm working with a couple companies together and get always the best. I have the C of A's also from the seeds. So future-wise, we're putting this also up online uh, to make sure. Uh, so we're getting this week, we're getting the inspector in from Oregon Tilt, which is also part of, they are actually there, what was it called? Uh, their standards are higher than USDA. Oh, interesting. So I'm going, I don't have to fear anything because my system is clean. Uh, we have a nice, nice, beautiful, clean facility and I'm using only organic uh, products. So that's what I prove to them. And then I get next week, uh, we are certified organic. Yeah. So by the time this is out, it'll be yeah. certified uh, exactly. organic. Exactly. And then the next question here from Rosanna is, will I be posting these products? Yeah, Rosanna, I just posted a link uh, in the, the comment section here. And then if you're watching on YouTube, you could find a link for all these products that we mentioned in the description of the YouTube video and then in the podcast notes. So go ahead and you could grab your bottles. You could try it out for yourself and see uh, what we're talking about here. So final words for the keto campers that you want to share, Andreas? Yeah, I just uh, say um, most of the time, just figure out uh, your own, find your own way. Uh, figure out one by one if you want. Um, if you're looking for energy, five seed. If you're looking for healing power, it's the Black Human, which is our runner, total runner. We have insanely uh, Black Human reviews. Which could support uh, the, the immune system as well. Everything. everything. Yeah. It takes care of everything in your body. It kills. Uh, it it uh, gives you energy. It ha I don't know. It's a whole day filling uh, machine, you know. So, And the thing is, there's a lot of things. Also, the Black Sesame is good for for women, uh, menopause, etc. What was the calming, uh, Bridget says, what was the calming oil uh, with different strengths? Different what? But what What was the calming oil that you mentioned? Where the, it was the CBD, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The CBD, Bridget. Yeah. Calming and uh, this is, gives you, it calms you down. It will help you to sleep better. It, it, it's, it's really because we have those uh, CBD uh, receptors in our body. Right. So, Mother milk has CBD actually in it. It's producing CBD for the right. baby so that the baby is calm. So, yeah. Um, cooking oils, uh, five seed pumpkin and black sesame. Flex and sunflower. Seed yeah, flaxseed is good. The thing is, we have 60% uh, omega 3 in our eyes. Eyesight. 60%? Yeah, 60%. Brain is also almost 50%, around 50%. So we need also, but no fish oil. Stay away from fish oil. Yeah, we've we've gone over that several times with Brian Peskin, Dr. Pompa, yeah, Jeff Matheson, exactly. yeah. So and I think yeah. Otherwise, uh, just go online on the website. Everything has a description. It shows you exactly what the what is in, what is doing, 
what you know and then go slowly because my oil is very powerful less is more yeah until you come to the point the only only time you can overdose or the only oil you can overdose is the coriana because the coriana takes heavy metal is the cilantro mm -hmm. the seed from cilantro takes heavy metal out from the brain so if you take too much it goes in the brain it starts a process and you have three days roller coasting yeah you that's know? not good so yeah so, so I just wish everybody, uh, uh, yeah the best of health and uh, that we are starting a journey together yeah and so that everybody are happy and have energized and live their life in, in, in full yeah and that's what we're all looking for anti-aging that's right anti-aging black seed black cumin and black sesame have a point where they uh, short uh, they lengthen or they they can actually lengthen or stop the the telomere from yeah. getting shorter <laughs> Awesome. We all want that. We want long tel telomeres. So let's lengthen exactly. the telomeres. Exactly. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah. So I'm also on, just to let you know, uh, I want to get some more oils coming. Uh, it's uh, milk thistle. It's oh, cool. That's company. great for the liver. Yeah. Exactly. So by end of the year, we will have this. I'm already uh, sorting out right now a couple of seeds. want to try. Um, then I'm on it also, ever, if you ever heard about CBG. No. CBG is actually from a CBD, but CBG, uh, if you put it in the right way, and I think I'm the only one who can do this uh, with my technology, um, it, it creates stem cells in your body. Wow, interesting, cool. That's what we're all looking for, right? Yeah, we want stem yeah. cells and we want long telomeres. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Well, I mean, keto campers, you're gonna for those of you who actually go and purchase the the bottle, um, as soon as you open it, you're gonna know that this is the real deal. Yeah. That's the way I felt. It's so fresh. So I encourage you all to go get it and heal yourselves. Andrea, thank you for making such a uh, an amazing product. I love it. I've been using it for over a year. Thank you for cutting through all the garbage out there when it comes to oils because oils could be such a healing property or they could actually damage you. And what we talk about here are the healing fats, the healing oils. So thank you for your product and for all the research and your amazing technology. You and I appreciated the conversation today. Thank you too. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Andreas. I know it blew your mind. Be sure to check out the link down below to go purchase your bottle of Andreas seed oils. I also want to encourage you to watch an interview I did with Dr. Kate Shanahan, author of The Fat Burn Fix, where it takes this conversation we just had with Andreas to a whole nother biochemical level where we talk about these vegetable oils and how they're worse than cigarettes and the right fats to heal your cells. So click that screen right there and you'll see me in the next interview and video with Dr. Kate Shanahan.